Hello everyone. First of all, Wikimedia, Turkey family, I need to thank you all. Mr. Zafar and Ms. Bashak, they have worked a lot. Sometimes they work for our activities and sometimes we work for their events. But especially in Turkey, we have limited sources. We need to work with them. You should do some sacrifices. You need to sacrifice some and their effective work. I want to thank them all. I will talk about open licensing right now, give some information. And I also want to talk about Creative Commons, general information. How do we reuse the data? I will talk about them mostly. One of the most important things is it should be done under some standard standards. It should be easy to reuse. I will talk about Creative Commons and open licensing, the general, general structure of open licensing and the culture of sharing. I will finish my speech after that. Yesterday we had a conference. It was about open licensing. During that conference, we have talked about the researches and it will be international open licensing conference. You can see the event in Turkey on the website. We will we are also talking about open data in academic area and also social area. You can see archigiri.org about the problem because there are a lot of information and fights between the fields about open data. Please we are trying to translate so be a little bit slower. Yes, please. Thank you. About this researches, we have a YouTube channel, open data ethics, open information, the culture of sharing. You can see a lot more information in detail on this YouTube channel. And we are trying to update and save this whole source as much as possible. And we are trying to increase this access to many people. I will tell you really very easily about the open licensing. Let's give an answer to this. What we say copyright, instead of saying copyright, the all rights are preserved under the under the sentence of all rights are preserved, gives us a little bit flexibility to share adaptation and reuse is the aim of open licensing. And there are some rights of the owner. And it is making the access easier for the users. To make these researches much better and easily, there is a licensed family. Creative Commons is called this licensed family for the users and for the professionals who want to share their outputs. This rights, some rights reserved are not very strict. What is the structure underneath that? There is a declaration actually. If you can decide the rights of your own for your own output. It's not saved in a very database. It's all 
about your declaration. I gave a lesson to Hajjatpur University about Python, the program. I have written some options and also the people who want to use this I am giving some information about it what it helps you can make adaptations or share you don't need to get permission from the owner this is a very beneficial one in Wikidata, you don't need to code. You can directly take and use it. But in Wikidata, you don't need to ask to the owner of the creation in Wikipedia. The culture of sharing makes it easier for people. An image on video or video on internet, if you want to reuse them, you don't need to ask for the permission from the owners. Via this Creative Commons, the process is much more easier. I'm going to talk about the architecture under this. These are not only licensing and the designs of the license. There are four options. The first of it is coding. You should code to the owners. You should give reference. So you owe a thank you to them. The same license. The second thing is you can share the next work via the permission of the owner. You can use the right whether you can use it with the purpose of selling or not. With the combination of four options, you are having six different licenses. And these six different licenses are from the very open one, which helps and supports the open licensing as much as possible, to close one, closer one. You cannot use it to sell any merchant. You cannot do financial issues are not approved. It's different than all rights are preserved to no rights preferred. There is a gray region between them. And you can, if you are an institution, you can work as your thought and you can choose between these licenses. For example, if it writes a re writing on it in Turkey, in Turkey, more than 70 years of product is public. It means non-commercial sharing in Turkey. It's mostly shared non-commercially. And also we have a back plan, back side of it. They have a document in law. There is a summary of the license. This is for the last user. So you can share, you can use, you cannot use for commercial purposes. These are all very strict and net. And there are upper data parts, which I will explain right now. 
if you license the data under common creative common there is a lawful situation and also it means that the final user can have information about which conditions the final user can use and there is and there are some information like the Yandex how can Yandex use this kind of information I can show some examples of it there is a text it's a very long text it's about the coordination of Creative Commons. There are detailed information over here, and here you can share, you can edit, adaptate, but you cannot, you should definitely quote. This, there is a summary information. As you see in this small detail, Creative Commons. Creative Common is established under a very strict database. So, if you search online, for example, Wikimedia's Commons section, not only but also other logins, other tags can be found and it makes it flexible to reach the information. And here you see there is a license picker if you have never done any work about Creative Commons. The work you have produced, you can provide this to culture of sharing. You can give some answers to the questions over there and then you can give your product, give your work to public. Can it be used commercially? The same license should be used. These kind of questions should be answered and if you give if you give some data over there, there will be HTML code and this HTML code you will see the text link that text link is established or you can have it HTML code to your product. Previously you saw the codes over here. We add this with the help of this HTML coding. You can put on a website and you can observe the data, the text. In the morning, Mr. Asaf talked about this text. The structures like Wikidata, to be able to use them, reuse them, we use this kind of licenses. If you don't use this kind of license, your text, the final user will not have any information about how they will use, how the final user will have the options. We should talk about this open definition. We have these definitions how you can open your data. There are many different researches in the EU or in the world. And one of the researches are there is a guidebook how you can open your data. I will share this in representation with the group Wikimedia. If you have a data set, you need to share this with, with Zerado, kind of Zerado, to be able to share your own research information with this kind of structures. You 
should find you should have an open license according to your references, according to your preference and according to your opinions and the details are formed in open data guide book. I want to ask this kind of questions without open licenses how can be reused can it be edited adopted or no the data if it is shared it is it is only made making it open to access yes the people can access the data but they cannot use the data the reuse of the product if it's not made possible don't think about it as preserving preserves the right we should think about the structure generally it shouldn't be very easy we will talk about this in this conferences and tomorrow we should know between the difference between Wikidata and Wikimedia and then you can understand the difference of them. Yes, Wikidata information can be understood when it is written on Wikipedia. But if you have it on Wikipedia, the machine can use, can process this information. And one of the most important is here. It's not it's not only easy to access but also it should be easy to reuse and we call it usage of the collections to be used we are trying to make Wikipedia with the Wikidata technology with this link we have payer principles these principles if you are trying to finish the work on a product it should be findable it should be accessible it should be interoperable and it should be reusable with licensing it should be reusable in this construction in EU there are many researches and with and when you share the product, the information, you are, have to share this data with these principles, fair principles. You have to use these principles. There are some. Creative Commons, as we see, Dublin Core Standards, and there are some protocols which can be searched or commented and we make with all of these things we make the data accessible and it is easy for us to make to share the information with these fair options fair conditions there are open licensing coding we want to researching is a very expensive process and we are trying to we are trying to process the data which are public we are trying to reuse these sources again and again and the culture of sharing we would be able to use it as much as possible and we would contribute to the culture of sharing open research open resource information and open resource contexts making open education sources via this all and making 
open resources. We can make people to have access equally with all around the world. It will be a butterfly effect actually. If you need any help around this, about open licensing, how to share the open rights, how kind of research but you don't know how to start, creativecommons.tr will help you about the information you can have. There are frequently asked questions, so you will see some questions over there we had before. Info at creativecommons.org.tr, you can send any information to our group and to intellectually reserved rights. They are really working for everything here. It's very complicated subject too. I hope the translators do not hate me. I have been trying to make a small structure about it. I can, I'm here to answer your questions, or you can send an email to this email if you have any questions. Thank you so much. My sound is on? Yeah. There is something we always talk. And others, other friends here should know. Thank you so much for your representation. The licenses of Creative Commons in Turkey. Do Turkey has a lawful under set in Turkey? The preserved rights, for the reserved rights, there are local laws. For example, if ter in Turkey there are laws, it means that it's internationally too. At least you can go to the court to tell. I share this information according to these conditions. You can say that this is out of my will. And if you declare these conditions, at least you will have the right to go to court and express your opinions about it. Creative Commons licenses are not an alternative, local alternative. They work with the local alternative, actually. The final user cannot do it itself. So we need an open license as it is. It's also for GPL licenses, also other preserved rights. Lawfully, if a judge doesn't know about the Creative Commons license rules, and if you express your express yourself, I have been done this. I have shared it via these conditions under these conditions. Then you will be on the right side. Do we have any examples of punishments? There are many punishment examples about it. But if you go to the court by Creative Commons, you cannot be right. I want to share something on the internet and if you are a journal there are conditions how to share and the conditions are not on court you are sharing on website online that under which conditions you share info how to use this information 
how to use this building, for example, is established by the university management. So how to use this information can be, should be established by the owner of the information as well. In all the world, it is written like this.